Firstly, I just want to wish you a happy new year and yeah, what a year it's been in AI and I think 2024 can be equally as exciting. So for the last video of the year, we're just going to do some random stuff. I have been experimenting with this streaming script of ChatGPT, you can see in the background here. I think it looks pretty cool and I've been doing some self-prompting prompts that yeah, turns out to be pretty useful. So a pretty chill video to end the year, so let's take a look. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to try to recreate is the style you can see here. So this is kind of the matrix terminal style. If we use 3.5 turbo and stream the tokens, it looks pretty cool. So let me show you how I did this. Okay, so I haven't really done this for with ChatGPT. So basically, we just did a few things. We created this function called ChatGPT Stream that just takes a user input. And from there, we just used the client chat completion create. I have the ChatGPT 3.5 turbo model here. And here we have something called stream equals true. That has to be enabled. And basically, the rest here is to try to look for when we have like a complete sentence or we have like a, you can see here, like a new line, then we want to print it. So we don't want to print like in big chunks, we want to print one and one sentence or like for each new line. And then we have this neon green color here. And I gotta say it works pretty good. It's pretty quick and I was a bit surprised. So instead of me talking about it, let me just show you how this works now. Okay, so if I open the terminal now, we just go python loop.py. You can see it already spits out code pretty fast. I don't know how many tokens these are per second, but yeah, this was exactly what I was looking for. And I think it looks pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, so this is running in like a loop. So we kind of want every time it runs a code, we feed it back in. We kind of want to improve the code of bow. So I'm going to show you that after. But yeah, looks pretty cool, right? Okay, so you can see kind of the function I meant was this improve solution. So improve a solution iteratively by feeding it back into the API. So we have this solution. So ChatGPT stream problem and problem is going to be this problem to the text. So just write a Python code for a snake game. That is kind of our initial prompt and we want to improve and iterate on that, right? So when we create this um, Python code, we suggested solution, we get that back into the with this for loop right and based on this problem uh, we have the problem here right this one you make improvements to the code above so we run that five times and at the end we kind of print the final improved solution so let's just spin this one full loop and see the end result Okay, so here we are at the end. So if we spin back up a bit here now, we can kind of see this code includes some improvements. So we kind of, you can see that it puts the code back in and tries to improve it. Like, I think it's like five times. But this has like a diminishing return effect. It doesn't work as good as you should think. Uh, there may, there's some few changes, but uh, yeah, it's not perfect. But let's just copy this game here, right? And test it and see if it works. So let's copy that. And uh, let's paste it in here. Okay, let's go back. Let's run it. Uh, yeah, so this is a snake game, right? Okay, this seems to work. I remember this was with 3.5. Oh, I can't play this game, but yeah, perfect. So I changed up the prompt a bit. So I go, what the protocol for a snake game with an AI that plays the game optimal, okay? So for that, I think we want to change the, um, the model here. I think we want to use GPT.5. 4, 11, 11, 06, preview, right? So we're gonna run through this and see what kind of code we get. And do we get like a snake game that kind of can play optimal? So you can clearly see kind of the difference between GPT-4 streaming and uh, ChatGPT 3.5 turbo streaming. You can see here the speed is kind of lackluster to 3.5 turbo. But that's fine. You can still kind of watch it. It's more interesting than just looking at like a black screen, right? So we're just gonna let this run and then we're gonna check out the result, right? Okay, so this was kind of the code we ended up here. So we can see we have this function called control AI. I wonder how much AI is in that. But other than that, yeah, I think it looks pretty okay. Uh, I have tested it. So let me show you here now. If we run a python snake.py, you can see hands off. Yeah, looks good. It's playing itself, the score is working. Can I blow this up a bit? I don't think so. No, I can't, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom in a bit and you can kind of see that this is playing. I'm not playing this. So uh, let's try to make it a bit more difficult here. So we can go here, we can kind of change up the self clock tick. 
So let's put that to 100. This should increase, increase the speed, right? So if we run this again now... Alright, this looks more difficult. It actually died. Oh wow, this was quick. <laughs> Alright, I think he got 20 last time. 21. 25 I think he got to. Let's make the grid a bit bigger. So let's do 1200 by 720, okay. So yeah, this is bigger now. It's speeding up, right? How quick can it go? Let's try quicker. Let's try 500. Can we even see it now? Oh wow, <laughs> that was quick. 10, 11, 20, 30. All right, so you can see, worked pretty good. I didn't play anything, but I wouldn't call it AI who was playing. Uh, other than that, let's try something different. So I basically did the exact same thing with Kana. Instead of snake, we did Pong. We ended up with like 111 long line uh, code here. So if we run this now, you can kind of say, yeah, it's basically the same, but this is a bit weird. It's almost like a screensaver. It just goes in this pattern. But the fun thing is we can speed it up a lot, so let's do that. So here we can put the uh, clock tick to a thousand, like ten times quicker. So when we run it now, you can kind of see it looks outrageous. So yeah, this is... <laughs> looks like a screensaver almost. Uh, so basically it works the same. Uh, but let's do... Uh, I want to do a bit of a different kind of problem with some kind of more self-prompting. I try to keep this prompt as easy as possible, so it's basically just write the best prompt for an LLM to write a Python code to create a ball sorting algo that sorts 30 ball with 5 different colors with a visual animation. So basically what we want to do here is to create the prompt first, and then we feed the prompt into this improved solution loop, right? So pretty straightforward, nothing, not a lot of... Uh, advanced stuff, pretty basic and simple, but let's see if it works. Okay, so if we run this now, you can kind of see the first thing we want to do is to create a prompt, and like I said, then we feed it into this for loop uh, to actually write the Python code. So you can kind of see it starting here. We have the prompt up on top here, and here is kind of the Python code from this prompt, right? So if you zoom in a bit here, you can kind of see the prompt is write a Python program using Pygame library to create a board sorting. Yeah. yeah. You get it, so that is kind of the idea, right? So, let's just let this run through, and then we copy the code, and let's see if it works. Okay, so it's complete, so let's go all the way down here. Uh, let's copy this, right, all right, down there. Let's paste it in here, okay, terminal. Let's run PyCode 1, and yeah, look at this. This was something different. Uh, you can't see it, the full that's a bit strange, but I think it kind of works because we have this green, yellow, uh, green, yeah, red, and blue box that kind of attracts the balls. Let's run it again. Do we always get those code same colors? Yeah, so you can kind of see the balls spat all over and kind of attach to this box. So that was a bit weird. So let's run it one more time and see if we get something completely different, right? Okay, so I changed up the model. I put in the GPT-4 model. I ran it again. Then it ended up with this Python code here. This is actually using matplotlib and some matplotlib animation. Uh, it's just 65 lines. So let's test this out. Python ball sort.py, right? Uh, okay, so this was a bit different. You can kind of see... It kind of sorts these bars. So remember, is this changing up now? Remember, I have these... I think it's like nine blue balls. So let's change this up. Yeah, this looks a bit different, right? So this is a random pattern every time. So now we have most cyan balls. So it's kind of working. So you can say we have 30 balls placed. We have a color code. We have the ball index. So I guess this is working pretty good. And yeah, I guess GPT-4 come up with a better solution then. Okay, so the final thing I wanted to do today was to try to create a game using the Minimax or Minmax uh, algorithm. That is a decision rule used in AI, decision theory, game theory, statistics or philosophy for minimizing the possible loss for a worst case uh, maximum loss scenario. So I just created this prompt, write the best prompt for an LLM to write a Python code to use the minimax or minmax algorithm to create an unbeatable tic-tac-toe player, write the full code. 
So let's run this uh, with GPT-4, I think, and see kind of if we can beat it. Okay, so here you can kind of see the prompt. So write a Python program that uses the minimax algorithm to create an unbeatable tic-tac-toe. Uh, take the current state of the board as input and then turn the next best move for the AI player. Okay. The AI player should always make the optimal move to either win the game or block the human player from winning. Okay, so let's let this run and then copy the code and see if it actually works. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. We can see we have the minimax function here. We have a find best move function. Yeah, and a kind of standard tic-tac-toe app. And yeah, 118 lines. Let's run it and see if we can beat this. Uh, my guess is no. <laughs> I don't think we can. Alright, so we have this. Uh, okay, so it placed it there. Let's do this. So it should go here. We go here. Here. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to beat this. So, okay, so if I go here. We go here. 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 And it's a draw again. It goes first now, I think. Yeah, we go here. Yeah, it's a draw again. <laughs> so I don't think we can beat this. Uh, so that was kind of a good demonstration of this min-max algorithm. Uh, I think that's kind of the simplest one we can do. Uh, yeah, probably others too, but I don't know. Okay, so maybe not the most interesting video today, but I just wanted to make like a New Year's Eve video. I just wanted to say thank you for this year. Uh, I will be putting this, uh, you can just find this streaming ChatGPT script, call it what you want, in the link below to just a GitHub repo. So you can just use it if you want to try it out. Uh, other than that, uh, again, I want to give say a happy new year and thank you for all the support in 2023. Uh, I got some cool plans for 24 if you want to follow along. Uh, we just made this new Discord here for members only. So if you want to become a member have, and have access to all the GitHubs. And I think we can have some good discussions here on this new Discord channel. Uh, I just deleted the old one because, yeah, I didn't have time to follow up on it, to be honest. But I think this member section one could be a bit better. And we can maybe do some cool stuff during this uh, upcoming year but other than that have a great evening enjoy the day and have a good start to 2024 and i'll see you again yeah uh, soon